Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about step-by-step -step on how to change bases in math. Now, when you're changing from one base to another number base, it becomes a little bit lengthy, but uh, you know it can be done. It's just a question of what kind of numbers and bases that you're working with. So we're going to do a, a hands-on step-by-step example, and you'll see briefly as to how this will work. Now, suppose, now, as you know, the number of bases that we work out of in everyday life is base 10. So to converting to other bases always takes a little getting used to. So here's the general process on how to do that. Now, suppose I want to convert 100, which is in base 10, and I want to convert it to base 8 form. Now, here's the first step on how to do that. And base 8 only uses the digits 0 through 7. Eight digits that's why it's called base 8, but it uses 0 through 7. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to think about the largest power of 8 that will go into 100. Now, think about this as 8 to the third is too high, so we're going to go with 8 squared, which is going to be 64. So we need to think about 64 going into 100. Now, for the sake of time, we're going to do this a little bit fast. 64 goes into 100 one time, remainder 36. So the first digit of this new number base is going to be the number 1. We're going to take this remainder and we're going to divide by the next lower power of 8. So we went from 8 squared, which is 64. We're going to go with now 8 to the first, which is going to be 8. So we're going to divide 36 by 8. As you know, 8 goes into 36 four times. 4 times 8 is 32 remainder 4. That means the second digit of base 8, as you're converting from 100, is going to be 4. We're actually almost there. Now we're going to take this second remainder, which is 4, and we're going to divide by the next, and this will be the last, power of 8. 8 to the 0 is going to be 1. So we're going to take the 4, the remainder 4, and divide by 1, which is going to be, as you know, 4. So what we're going to do next is we're going to outline all the digits that we have. So the digits that we circled are 1, 4, and 4. So that means 100 to base 8 is actually going to be 144 in base 8 land. So you do that for any number base that you're going from base 10 to. So look for the largest power of 8 and work your way down using the subsequent remainders. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a very brief introduction as to the step-by-step -step and how to change into other number bases in math.